Hi guys, welcome to Love Between 22. Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is the weekly love reading commencing March um, 2 up to March 8, 2020. Each pass was arranged by Archangel Michael and St. Michael say that it's gonna be an intense week with regards to the emotions of people. It is because, you know, the heaven is forcing them to change and if not about attitude, um, they are being pushed on towards their destination or towards the right path, especially for those who are dealing with their karmic partner. Because based on my experience, um, today it's Monday here in the Philippines and what happened to one of my clients is that um, there was a fight going on in with her new lover. So what happened is that it's kind of like a terrible fight and looks like it's going to be a breakup, unfortunately. And I strongly sense that, you know, um, that person that she was dating is really someone who is a mature person, okay? And she's still, you know, at this stage of learning. And unfortunately, um, that mature person didn't stand her anymore. So that's why the fighting happened. And I realized that the karmic there is my client. So, if you're someone who's toxic for someone, you're the karmic, you're someone who's toxic and not vibing correctly. So, if ever you are someone that that is the karmic or the toxic of the, I'm sorry, the toxic one in the connection, you have to change yourself for that person. But if things didn't happen, didn't work out, I think that, you know, the heaven is trying to put away the toxic person away from that, um, the mature person's life because the mature person really needs someone that they deserve. So, is there anything else? They said changes happen for a reason and if ever you encounter a karmic, make sure that you, you learn your lesson okay and don't ever escape the getting to know each other mode in partnership because that's what happened to my client okay and they first started um to date without getting to know each other first and they did something already even though they're not in a partnership since they escaped the getting to know process so what happened is that they realized that they're not compatible because um, the man there is someone that is mature okay and the other is not and the mature one wants someone whom is his other half so so that's why I'm telling you guys, most mature people are, you know, looking for the right partner for them. If ever you're the mature person here, you must know that you have to be patient with regards to love life. Don't base it on the face. Base it on the attitude first. Make sure that they're compatible with you. Okay? And make sure that you're on the same page as always because if you dealt with someone that is not vibing with you what will happen to your connection is that there will be fighting always okay that was happening for some people okay and make sure that you learn from every experience in your life and anyways or anything else they told me that you must relax within this week since emotions is so very intense and a lot of people will be very dramatic and a lot of people will will post in social media the angels say of what what's happening to them if ever you have a suicidal friend be there for them the angels say don't deny your calling um, to approach them, the angels say, because they really need somebody um, right now by their side. 
Um, if you're called on to do that, do that. The angels say, but if you don't have that calling, then you know, just let it be. You need to focus on you. Um, at this moment of time, the angels say, pay attention to the red flags, because the karmics will do something nasty. And the angels say once that they they um, show the signs that they are not really your soul tribe, you have to block them or let them go because God is providing, you know, clue for you whom to be trust, whom are not to be trust, whom will be here forever with you, whom are not true to you. <coughs> is there anything else? Sorry, guys, I'm still sick. So the angels say that it's gonna be another week of um, regretful week for those people, especially that are cheaters. For those people who did something bad and nasty, the angels say, because some of them, karma will strike them. The angels say, or knock on their doorstep. And some people will have good opportunities within this week if they have been planting the good seeds, the angels say. Is there anything else? They said that's it. So anyway, we got four pals here. <coughs> Sorry. Number one is decision. Number two, strength. Number three, queen of Ariel. Number four, Knight of Michael, so choose wisely, don't base it on your ego, or else it may not resonate. So, the angels told me that relax and have faith in God, and remember that if ever you feel depressed within this week, you need to purge what you need to purge in within you, especially if you have hatred within um, you will be crying within this week so that you will ease the pain that's within you. The angels say because you have to forgive and you have to reach out to those whom you hurt. The angels say and the angels say at this season you must, you know, you must repent. And I feel like they want you to, to repent because it's Lent. Okay, in Catholic time, I know that some of you are not Catholic, but I feel like, you know, since I'm an angelic medium, and sometimes it depends on um, the Catholic calendar. Um, it has a connection with what's happening to the world, not only about astrology or things, synchronicities, and so forth. But also sometimes, especially um, the gospel readings, because to, to be honest with you, I have been going to church every Sunday. I'm not doing this always, okay? But I just noticed that whenever there's a reading, um, it's about what's gonna happen in my life, either within that week or it happened so that it happened that there's a gospel about the current week because, you know, you have to know something. Just observe. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm having a hard time to speak, okay, because of my cough, <clears throat> okay, and my sore throat. Anyway, is there anything else, angels? They said that's it. So anyway, just post the video if you're not yet ready. I'll proceed now with number one. Hi guys, for those who chose number one, which is the decision, Archangel Jophiel, here is your reading. So we'll see what's going on with your love life, number one. So here is the overall theme. You got new life in both ways. I feel like you're someone who's currently trying to resolve an issue with your ex-partner. Go we'll check about your person's energy. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know. 
codependency. I feel like your person is a karmic on you. And you're mad at your person because when I shuffle, my right hand hurts. I feel like you're aware that your person is toxic for you. <laughs> One more shuffle, they say. Sorry about my no uh, my voice. I can hardly speak. <clears throat> but I have to do this reading because they they are requesting this. They only give you two. <clears throat> I feel like your person is regretful to have you in their life. I feel like you have a terrible fight with your person. But we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. <clears throat> Sorry. So that you may be able to know what's going on with the love life of pile number one. Commencing... March 2 up to March 8, 2020. I have a feeling that I have to share that number 8 is about a karmic cycle. So I feel like you have to put an ending to this karmic cycle already, number 1. You don't need to go back to your ex. You have to move on from them. And I feel like... What you need to learn from your ex, you have to get rid of your codependency issue on them. Know that you can live on your own because right now the heaven is making you realize that you have to be independent because the more dependent you are, the more that you're acting like a baby. Okay? Anyway, sorry. You have this as your overall energy that's affecting the reading and this is the outcome. I feel like the heaven is forcing you and your partner or your ex, whoever this is, to realize that you deserve someone better. So you will clarify, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like when it comes to decision making, you don't make the right choice. That's what I'm sensing. Which is better for you? Someone who has money or somebody who's dependent on you because of money? Or somebody that's abusing your kindness? Because to be honest, I'm seeing here that yes, you have this karmic partner. You seem happy in social media. You love to brag it, but to be honest, you're not being honest, guys, number one. And I feel like a lot of people knows about your story with this person, and I feel like behind closed doors, they are kind of like confused with you. Because you're, people think that you're a liar, to be honest with you, number one. So avoid being deceitful. <clears throat> so anyway, you got wing messengers. So I feel here that the heaven is sending you signs so that you will look within on what makes you happy. That's the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And they're focusing on your heart they make you focus on this one and take an action on what you desire of with your heart now with the waterfall being in either way i feel like you wanna go with the flow i feel like you're too codependent with your person like um you're afraid to be single but 
to be honest with you, when you are in a relationship with your karmic, this happens, okay? That you're not happy. There's a lot of tears there. There's a lot of fighting involved and it didn't fulfill you emotionally. And what the heaven is trying to tell you, if only you let go and let God, yes, you will be single, but at least you're emotionally fulfilled. Because if you're dealing with a karmic partner that's not really meant for you, you will end up fighting because you're not a good match. That person is just meant to be in your life to teach you something and then they will leave once that it's done. Make sure that you know um, why this person came to your life. And know that not everyone is gonna stay in your life. And life on earth is not permanent. Remember that. Because if you're too codependent, what will happen to you? If you're someone who's a baby wanting this and that, I feel like you see yourself as a weak person that you can't live without a partner. <clears throat> Please take time to be independent, guys, because I feel like you escape your singlehood just because you want somebody by your side. So with a balance, the angels say, you deserve someone whom is a good match for you. Somebody who um, is a nurturer, real nurturer, your real empress, or your real emperor. And not someone okay, whom is hurtful. And realize that your love life, as always, is the wheel of fortune reverse. It's full of bad luck. It's full of traumatic experience. It's full of envious of vibe, I'm sensing jealousy even for some and there's a lot of tears involved and what your real heart feels is hurt with your person with a karmic and i feel like your heart is trying to speak to you this is how i feel with your karmic like things are not going well with your love life and I feel like the passion is even gone in your connection because I feel like the heaven is putting you on alignment with the right partner that's made for you. <clears throat> now, the next card is on track reverse. What I can say here is that you're someone who haven't moved on yet from your ex or karmic. <clears throat> that's what I'm sensing here. You're so focused on them. Even though the heaven is trying to make you see, hey, okay, what's happening to your connection is that it's getting nowhere. Because your will of fortune is in reverse. And you have to know this already. Things will repeat again. Okay, if you haven't learned your lesson, if you don't um, let go of something that has to go. It's like a dead person already. That you want to, you know, turn back to life. How can you turn back to life someone who's dead? Are you gonna sleep beside the dead? Okay. Because if you don't know how to be independent, you will have a hard time to let go. It reminds me of one of my clients. And my client is already... I'm um, old, um, about 70 plus in age there. And she's very old already. So what happened to their connection is that um, her husband was already staying in the home care facility. Okay, and this girl, um, the my client, easily got jealous whenever, you know, her husband was being with other girls inside at home care. So since she's always jealous, she's always fighting and fighting. And, you know, um, she told her husband, I want you to choose only me, me, me. Okay. And what happened to every conversation that we have, she bring it always up about what happened to her husband and you know that home care facility 
though it happened already, you know, one year ago. And she always bring it up, um, always to her husband, even though um, it's not an issue anymore. Even though it's a year that passed already, whenever they meet each other, they will fight. That's what happened. Okay, and there's no more love there. So, what I'm seeing is that, uh, you know, um, she went to psychiatrist already, and the psychiatrist told her to relax. Okay, take some time to chill, to try to enjoy your life, change your focus. But my client is not like that. Okay, she doesn't want to listen to those people. So, basically, I try to tell her, because this is what I see, to be honest with you. They are old, right? And the heaven is trying to, you know, um, release her codependency issue. Because the more codependent she is, it will be very hard for her to accept if her husband will be gone. Because I feel like, you know, her husband's time is running out. And I tried to explain. But of course, she's already old. How can I explain? Because she might have a heart attack when she, she knows about it. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Not everyone in this world will stay forever. You must learn how to let release your codependency issue. You must learn how to be at least independent and be happy on your own. Don't be afraid to be alone. Be brave. Number one. Okay, and learn how to let go of people that's not serving you. It's like you wearing your old clothes back when you're still a baby and you're an adult already. Those things doesn't fit you anymore and you're accelerating on a higher level of potential. And those people did not. That's why they didn't vibe with you. Could be before they vibe with you and now you come to realization about a lot of things. So what happened to you is that you accelerate. So you deserve someone now that is on balance with you. Okay, you don't need something um, that's a baby object, right? So next card is Hilarion. And what I can say here is that um, I feel like you're observing your person very much. You're so possessive over your ex. And I think here that your relatives, even your friends, doesn't want you to date your ex. They want you to party outside. They want you to meet someone new. So I feel like within this week, people might force you to enjoy your life. So that you may forget about your ex. Anyway, here is your outcome. So I got clearing the way. So I feel here that I feel like the heaven will try to make a way for you to clear the way. That's what I'm sensing. Either you'll get sick, okay, because for some of you, that will happen. You might end up sick, so you will not go towards your ex again. Or for some of you, your ex might find someone else in you. That's why things will not work out, okay? The universe will play the game in you, okay? Um, because they want you to be happy with someone new. They want to you to realize what you deserve. Okay, and this is almost the Empress energy here. So you cut the Ten of Cups reverse. What they want to tell you is that you will meet someone who is stable, who is your partner. I feel like for some of you, you know this person already who showed you that love and caring vibe. And that person is much more stable in emotions than your old partner. Next card is Reflection Reverse. So I feel like you have been avoiding to reflect because it's burdening you. 
it's a slap on your face. But I feel like, unfortunately, what will happen here is that you will be released from your ex. Your ex will be very defensive over you because they will find someone new. That's what I'm sensing here. So nothing will happen. Your connection with your ex will not grow. The next outcome is the world. So I told you that you might be forced to go outside to party and it will happen unexpectedly because you're not expecting it to happen, to hang outside. And I feel like you have to do that in order for you to release your ex. That's not really meant for you. And Archangel Michael is trying to tell you this is not your person. Okay, wake up. Because if you keep on going back to the wrong person, things will repeat again. You will not be stable. Look at you. You're an emperor reverse and you have this good empress here. Okay, that's standing on her power. Or if the, you are dealing with an emperor or an emperor that's standing in their power. Okay, and you're someone who's in balance because of this person, and the one that your your ex is is someone who's deceitful. Could be a player type, could be someone who's toxic. Okay, and I feel like you have codependency issue that you think that if you keep on choosing your ex, you'll be accepted. When all honesty, it's not. It's not healthy for you because you're not stable. You're not grounded. Whenever you're with the wrong person. And you feel strongly that this is not what you want anymore. And your heart is telling you, you don't have feelings anymore for this person. All I feel is hurt. All I feel is betrayal. All I, all I feel is that I'm not in line with where I should be. That's why I'm not abundant. I'm not rich because I have been giving to this person that's deceitful. That's full of lies. <coughs> Sorry. So anyway, the angels asked me to pull some charms first. I will just stop. I'm not looking, okay? I will just stop once the angels ask me to stop. So, what are you trying to tell you? Probably it's a sexual connection with your ex. You have Andis here. Okay. And the angels are trying to tell you it's not, um, it's not healthy to just like a connection because of the sexual desires. You need to wake up, the angels say. You need to be at least logical or practical with the way that you think and you're not seeing things clearly. The angels say that you're being guided on to leave this partnership. I feel like you're doing it slow, but I feel like you tried to turn your back from your calling. That's what I'm sensing with this card. And for some of you, this could be marriage. That's not a healthy connection. Or you could be engaged with this person. But you have to use your wisdom in your connection. Why? Because the angels say, you're just like a comic book. Like, this is how you... People see your connection with your karmic, okay? It's like a comic book. It's a repetitive cycle of drama, okay? And there's always problem there. And you're just joking with your life. That's what they're trying to tell you. And shell is about emotions. You're being too dramatic about the connection. And it's not healthy for you. The angels say. That's why they're aligning you to the right person that's that you you need. Okay, with these skills here, it reminds me of the balance card here. 
the one that is destined for you, the one that matches your vibration, the one who understands you, and you must wake up, the angels say. And I feel like you're being called on by the divine to, I don't want to show my face, sorry. Um, this is mirror, by the way, and the angels wants you to know that you're being guided on to focus on yourself and heal and focus on i feel like work on manifesting your life and i feel like whomever this is is your mirror could be twin flame because twin flames are always your mirror i don't know and then here is the tree i feel like for some of you if this is marriage you're just, you know, accepting this because of the family thing. But unfortunately, it's unhealthy. And I feel like people will understand if, you know, you leave your ex. Because they see your connection as someone like a comic, like a joke. There's a lot of crying involved here. It's just a passionate connection. It's not even practical, logical, and so forth. So if you deny your calling, guys... Your life will process in a slow phase, the angels say, like a snail. And it's the heaven that's forcing you to move fast. That's what's happening to you, number one. Anyway, so we'll see. What else? This is the energy of your person. So I feel like your person, you know, let go of you already. Because things are not working out in your partnership. I feel like they had enough because they know you already. And I feel like there's a part of you that they don't like too. That's what I'm sensing. I cannot tell what's wrong or what they don't like. Because there's a lot of energy here in my video. But all I can say is that there's something that they don't like about you. That's... That's what they're angry about because they know it, okay? They know your attitude, they know you already, and they hate it. That's why they rather walk away from you because they don't like it. Now, anyway, we'll see. Probably my client got this number two, number one. Okay, the other one, that's not about the old lady. Anyway, here is the overall theme. You got building blocks. So I feel like the heaven is pushing you to be single. That's what's happening here. Because you're not in alignment. And you, they want you to imagine a life. Not getting in circles or not going back to the past. The angels say, forking the road. I feel like you know your decision already. Based on your reading. Because you're being pushed on to have a new life with someone else and not with your ex. Please move on. The angels say decision. Archangel Jophiel. So they want you to release yourself from being caged from your ex. Because you're not healthy anymore. The angels say. And it tells here. Release yourself from that which holds you back. I need to detox unnecessary worry based on on a lack of self-confidence so i strongly feel here that um you guys have a low self-esteem issue because you don't know what will happen if you are single and the angels say don't be afraid you know if you became single that will make you more powerful and abundant even to be honest with you that's what i realized when you know, I'm attached before with partnerships, to be honest with you. Okay? And when I became single, I realized that I'm more happier when I'm single. I can do this and that. If you're attached yourself with a partner, sometimes they don't like what you're doing. And they're gonna stop you for doing that and so forth. And that's another thing. A good thing about being single is that you can discover the world freely. Okay, and for some of you, especially if you're a masculine, some girls will demand a lot from you to the point that you will lose a lot of money. No wonder why I see um, the emperor reverse here. Probably your karmic 
is asking a lot of money from you to the point that you're not standing in your power. You can't save money on your own. You can have a business. You can't be the emperor. You're the submissive type. Okay, so I feel like right now, number one, you're being transformed into someone who is independent. So let it be. Because if you don't do that, you will continue on being codependent. I'll tell you one thing. Whatever the universe is pulling you to do, like the snail here, is good for you. I'll give you an example. This is not about love life. Alright, I was someone who was called by the heaven to do this way back 2017. But I didn't do that because I have low self-esteem. Okay, this is my issue. So what happened to me is that, you know, um, I became like a snail or I'm not even moving since I'm afraid. I don't know what um, how to do that since I don't wanna what to call this I'm not that good communicator back then I'm a shy type person my, I have low self-esteem issues so after graduation or after my school days okay way back 2018 I tried to look for a job and unfortunately I can't find any though I tried and I realized that I can't run away from my task on earth. I was being pushed on to do these videos <coughs> Sorry. or to do a channel. So I did it on the July of 2018. But upon making the channel, I didn't make any videos. <laughs> okay, because I'm still building up my confidence. <coughs> so anyway, I was able to push forward around... I forgot if it's October or September, okay, that long to build my confidence. But I tell you guys, once that you do your task on earth, it will uplift your self-confidence. Because the moment I start making my videos, at first I am shy about it. But as days goes by, I got used to it and I realized that I can do more. Because, you know... I was able to express on my channel even though I have some discrimination thing that's happened on my first videos well those are your comments to improve yourself don't be afraid don't be afraid if the heaven is pulling you to your destination because it will benefit you it will make you rich because I see here that your codependency issues is turning you into an emperor reverse. Like you're not standing in your power when you're dating the wrong person. You can't even save your own money. You can't even be happy. And the heaven wants you to wake up. You'll be more happy if you're single. Because there's no drama anymore. <clears throat> okay? And you can be able to build your life. You can be able to save money for a business, for a good, you know, um, for a good house could be, or a car, whatever you like. And that's what they want to say to you, number one. Take time to be single. Alright, so here are the messages of your person. So should I need to clarify? They said no need, so I will just read. I'm changing. I've never seen such a lovely queen. So if you're a guy, they say that I've never seen such a handsome guy or a handsome king. My love is just for you. If you really, really love me, come on, let it show. There's only love with you, number one. You hold me up so high. You are my shelter from the storm, broken hearted. Set me free. I feel it, it's push and pull. I can spell it out for you. It's not that simple. So I feel like they want you to set themselves free because I feel like your person really hates something about you and they can spell it out for you because it's not that simple. They don't want to break your heart. They want you to take time to realize what it is that they don't want from you. Next is you ain't faking. And this is reverse according to them. 
Could be they're seeing you as someone that, that is lying. That's what I'm sensing as well. For some only, just take what resonates. All I need is your love. Can this be love? We will make it through. Stop my tears. You're so far away. I'll wait for you, my love. Could be you guys had a terrible fight. But then I feel with this, I'm changing. I think that they walk away from you as well. They're angry at you. Let's see about the advice for you, number one. So you got, listen to your intuition, listen to your heart. The angels say upon holding this, not the right time. Meditation, bring answers and wait. So what I want you to do right now is to listen to your heart and know that right now having a love partner is not the right time because you're being called on to be single according to your reading and wait for a perfect timing for you to be in a partnership once again. Because the heaven is calling on to you, please listen, please be single. Okay, don't rush love. Because you're someone who needs to stand in your power. And you need to speak your truth, the angels say. That your heart is wounded by your connection. It keeps on repeating. Because if you don't listen to your intuition, if you don't listen to your heart, if you continue on clinging to someone that's not made for you, you might grow old and realize that you miss a lot of opportunities in your life. That's what they want to say. And I know that some people are upset because suddenly they have a breakup. Suddenly... You know, um, they fought with somebody whom they are in a relationship with, which happened to one of my clients. Okay? And realize that, that someone could be not really made for you. Just let it be, let God. You know, if you're an independent person, you're not going to be that too attached to the person. Okay? I'm not saying that you should be a narcissist, but what I'm saying is that you must not be codependent over someone. They don't belong with you. They don't, they don't belong with anyone else. They belong to God. So who are we to jail them? Right? And if they are poisonous, are you gonna keep them? The angels say. So here are the advice. <clears throat> you got decide to be happy now. So look at that. I feel like in your connection, you're not free to speak your truth. Because so look at this. I felt thrown to this scholar here. You're not happy anymore with this person. They could be very toxic for you. So your prayer is, thank you for helping me. Open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. <clears throat> Sorry. So anyway, you have to decide to be happy. Take your time making this decision. So I feel like they haven't already, you know, tell you what to do. But they want you to take some time to listen to your heart. Take some time in making the right decisions. Because I feel like in this pile, you could be someone who is rushing when it comes to decision making. And they don't want you to rush things. They want you to practice the decision making the right way. Okay? Taking your time. You're not in the rush. Okay? So, prayer. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relax as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. Next card is Sense of Humor. So I feel like that's why you also got this, this charm. This is comics and... Some comics are about comedy, right? So I feel like within this week, 
Your friends or even family could ask you to go out because your emotions are very intense and they're seeing you as someone who's so serious. And they want you to, to choose someone else already. That's what I'm sensing here. I feel like even your family members are worried about you <clears throat> because they see you stress with your ex. So make the right decisions right now, number one, and don't rush love. Love takes time and takes some time to heal as well. That's what they want to say. And life goes on even without your ex and know that, you know, somebody else out there is meant for you. Someone who's understanding, loving in nature. And remember that connection is not always about the passion itself. Okay? What will happen if you guys, you know, um, grow old already and you can't do this? What will you do? It's not a happy connection anymore because all you have in your connection is passion and not really love so know what real love is so is there anything else they said that's it so thank you for watching those who chose number one and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number two which is the strength card archangel ariel here is your reading so we'll see what's going on with your love life number two so here is the overall theme you got no place like home in your way they tell higher power the tribe i strongly feel here that you're in the right path with this person here but Hmm, this is funny. I'm sensing like you like this person a lot. But I'm feeling here a lot of sadness. Like your person has, um, what do you call this? Kind of joke. I don't know what it, um, it's called. It's joke face. <laughs> Poker face, what I'm sensing. Whenever your person thinks about you. So we'll see about the energy. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what is the feelings of the person of number two for them and how does they see about their situation and connection together. Probably your person is a good communicator in social media is what I'm sensing. Could be they're famous and some of them want to reach out to you but it's not that simple because they think that um, they have to move on from you. One more they tell so I'm gonna give more. For some of them, they could have kids already with someone else. Some of them, I feel like a YouTuber, YouTuber vibe with your person. Famous one, whom is standing in their power. I feel like they're hiding from you. Because you broke their trust. And I feel like for some of them, they hate you. I don't know what you did, number two. Why is it your person hate you? But we'll see. That's why when I sense your, your energies together with your person, I feel very odd. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's going on with the love life of pile number 2 commencing March 2 up to March 8, 2020. One more shuffle, they say.
I feel like your person is ignoring you a lot. Look at that. All the cards reversed. See? It's Oracle of Delphi. This is the overall energy. That's affecting the reading. What is the outcome? <laughs> Sorry about my voice. I'm still sick. Now we will clarify the cards. Angels, the angels say your person is defensive. Look at that. The cards doesn't want to shuffle. They're still angry at you. Angels, look at that. They're being stubborn. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like your reading will be about what's going on with them. The heaven wants to show you something about your person. To be honest with you, number two, I'm not go going to make the weekly what's going on with them because I'm not called on to do that. I was called on to do three readings actually for this week and one of them is this one, the last, the last one that they asked for this week. So you're lucky because I will show you what's going on with your person. I feel like your person is angry <laughs> with that, with that um, tarot. It's a very strong tarot. Anyway, so this is overall all energy that's affecting the whole reading. <clears throat> Suddenly, I can hardly speak when I hold these cards. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like you guys are in separation right now. Why? Because to heaven is kind of like accessing this person's energy because they have been distant to you they're angry look at their face but they're still holding on to you why because i'm sensing strongly with number two this could be your twin flame or higher level soulmate kind of deep connection with your souls okay so anyway, um, they can deny the connection that you guys have a soul bond together. <coughs> I'm sorry. I feel like um, whenever um, they try to talk to you, they are blocked from talking to you. If ever they block you, it has to happen. They are called on to do that. So don't take it seriously. Because as I see in your card, the heaven wants them to release their anger, their pain, anxiety, and worry about you. This is overall energy. Though you have a soul contract together, like you could be twin flamers, higher level soulmate, and whatsoever you call it, um, the angels say, look how they feel about you. They feel the Three of Swords, and their heart is reversed. They think that they don't have feelings for you anymore. You broke their heart drastically to the point that they don't have feelings for you anymore. But they are aware that they could be receiving signs. That's why they're aware that you're their um, twin flame, soulmate, whatever you call it. Okay, not the karmic, the angels say, deep connection. And I feel like whenever they remember you, they remember how you broke their heart. There could be third party involved and they're not happy about it. So since they release themselves from you, there's no more third party, no more them and you. 
And what they wanna say, this is what you want, right? No more third party. Because I sense their energy, they're mad at you. Because of the tower. And Hilarion, I feel like within this week, <coughs> sorry, they will hang out with their friends because they're still mad at you. Anyway, I need to drink water because suddenly my throat hurts with this <laughs> set of cards. Now, while I'm drinking the water and sneezing, <laughs> okay, behind the scenes, I sense the song, um, na alala. I forgot the title, but I will write down the lyrics, okay? I think I already did before for my other video. I just forgot to include it in the um, other reading. And, oh, I forgot. The lyrics is Nay Isip Mo Ba by David Eddy Muzio. So don't worry, I wrote it already. <laughs> Alright. So anyway... You got this as your first card. You got commitment reverse. So I think that your person already made up their mind not to be with you. They're not even passionate to start a new one with you. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, since they're not a cheater here, or they didn't put you in a third party, the luck is on their side when it comes to love life. And they are successful and happy on their own. Even they're single. Without some being in reverse here, though they know that you're the one, because if you have this in upright, God sent you something as a gift. And if you say add some, and it, it will mean that you will accept that blessing. But unfortunately, your card is in reverse. Meaning, your person didn't accept you anymore in their life. They'd rather be single than be with you. Because for them, look how they see you. I'm not reading this in based on the context. Okay, I'm basing it based on my intuition. Whenever they remember you, they remember how you broke their heart. How they fight for your connection and it didn't work out. And it hurts them because they're aware. They're still holding on to that stake which has a connection with this King of Wands energy that they're still holding on to you even if they're mad. Because they are aware that they can't release you in their life because you guys had a soul contract together. Or you're supposed to be together with this person but you denied them. You rejected them and they're angry at you. Next is reflection. So what's going on with them within this week? They might choose someone else new. Okay, and I feel here that once that they choose someone else, you won't be happy anymore. Because I feel here that you want to work things out with this person, but I feel with this nine of pentacles together with the six of um, cups, their singlehood will be over within this week. That's what I'm, f I'm sensing. And when you know about this, you will fight for that love that this person has for you. You will work things out because you see them as your happiness and joy. You have feelings for them. But unfortunately, it already ended. Your person already moved on from you. And they're not looking at you. Look at that. You like them, but they don't like you. They're not passionate about you. They don't want to work things out because you made them cry. I feel like you broke their heart drastically. To the point that they don't have feelings for you anymore. And it has a connection with this. Where is it? <laughs> Okay, with this Four of Swords reverse. That's how I see. Anyway, that's their story. <coughs> so within this week, they will have a new partner. This is the outcome. 
So with the summer and death, there will be changes in their life. They will be very happy with their new partner. And I feel here with this Queen of Roses, I feel like they chose someone else over you. Because I feel here that you made them cry. They remember. They will remember within this week when they got engaged with someone <clears throat> what you did to them. They're still mad at you for breaking their heart. For having to choose someone else over you. Okay. <clears throat> because I feel like look what you did to them. They have a hard time to let you go or to heal when you broke their heart <clears throat> because they're expecting this in a pride but it didn't happen it didn't work out you could be someone who's toxic or has a karmic connection and they cried about it because they have feelings for you I feel like they're not following their intuition now about you they're mad at you you know I'm crying when I hold these cards. <clears throat> you want to cry deeply. Because look at that, how depressed they are. When they have to release you in their life. <clears throat> They're not at peace, look at that. <clears throat> Suddenly my throat hurts. Same energy with your overall energy. That's why the universe made their throat chakra blocked or they made you guys in separation because your person is mad at you. Mad at you for breaking their heart or for using them for money purpose. To the point that they don't want you back. They are hurt for what you did. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we'll see. What are your charms? I just put it here so that it won't be that uh -oh, wild with the noise. <laughs> I think that they will have a new boyfriend. You have the B card. They are girls. If they, if you're dealing with a man, they might have a new girlfriend. I will just stop if I'm called on to. So, <clears throat> anyway, here are the charms. So you got um this one. So I feel like it's not the time for you guys to be reunited. Because one of your connection, whomever that is, I don't know if this person or you, you need time to be wise. The angels say that's why you guys didn't work out. One is being <coughs> childish and the other is mature. So with the love here, I'm sensing like it's about you and your partner. I don't know your partner, this person. Um, they say that it's a cycle that they cannot deny. That they have feelings for you. They're still holding on to you because, you know, you are their twin or soulmate, so ever what you call it. They know, okay? But they ghosted you because look at their face. They're not happy anymore with their connection. They feel like they tried to stay when you guys are in a third party, though they see the signs. This is more in the past energy. Though they see the sign, they choose you before. And you could be someone who's sexual. And I'm sensing here that you could have addictions, Gooby. I don't know who is sexual addicted to someone. What I'm sensing like this tells me that there might be sex involved in their partnership with someone new that's what i'm sensing so i feel like they gonna date someone who's a nerd and who has a good <laughs> i feel like um 
a heart like a cuddly bear. That's I'm sensing. Someone who's protective and they feel like they turned their back on you as well. They became cold to you and they want justice for hurting them. Yeah, twin flames or higher level soulmate. They're tied down to you. They cannot deny it about the connection, but they're mad at you. They're trying to enjoy themselves. Could be they love to to read comics to uplift their vibration when they try to get over you and they see you as their ex already. So I feel like you made them emotional. Whenever they think of you, they cry. Whenever they think about what you did, they're mad at you. So I feel with this potion. This is a potion. So I think that you manipulated them because yeah, they really have strong feelings for you. Like it's, that, it's like a potion to them. You guys are mirrors, so this could be your twin flame. Two signs about twins. So, I feel like this person is destined for you, but you guys are not yet ready because one is immature. So, yeah, they're sad. Look at that. They're sad about your connection because I feel here that they don't want to move it anymore. That's why they ghosted you. And right now, they're happy with a new partner or with someone new within this week could be. Anyway, with this um, planet, I strongly feel like um, this connection is out of this world. That's how they see your connection. And it's kind of dream connection before. And they're hoping that one day you'll be together. But they're aware that somebody needs to grow up with this owl and time. So with this compact here, this is a small compact. Actually, someone gave it to me when I'm still joining the doll groups. Because I used to collect dolls. I really love dolls, to be honest. And somebody gave me a compact. Okay, this is a compact. And I strongly feel here that whenever they see a mirror, it reminds you of them. Could be you guys look look the same almost. And whenever they look at themselves in the mirror, they reminded they are reminded of you. But they're unhappy whenever they remember and be represents a boyfriend for me in your reading. Or if they are a man, they will date a girl. They will, they will become um, in a relationship with someone. So I feel like travel. So I think, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so I think whomever they will be in a relationship with, that will include traveling. Or that person live far away from them. That could be their new lover. Anyway, that is her charms. <clears throat> so we'll see what is the energy. <clears throat> Sorry. When I hold that B, you know, um, suddenly my throat hurts. Probably if they will be in a partnership within this week, um, the heaven won't make them talk to you at all. <clears throat> so, St. Carbill, please help me. With my throat chakra. Anyway, here is the energy of your person. I feel like they're so mad at you. Okay, for whatever you did to them. That's why there's unrequited love. I feel like you're attracted to them, but they're not. It has a connection with, with this card, right? You like them, but they're not looking at you. <coughs> calling in your soulmate. So I feel like right now they're taking their time to be single. They're not calling to anyone. Probably they're 
They are a type whom is patient when it comes to love, like whomever will come their way um, will be the one. That's what I'm sensing. So forgiving and learning. So I feel like they haven't forgiven you yet since <clears throat> they have anger within them, but they're waiting for reconciliation and deception and trust. So there could be a trust issue involved in your connection. And like they could be trustworthy and somebody here could be deceptive <coughs> sorry I'm still sick anyway with love yourself first what I'm sensing here is that they didn't acknowledge you anymore they think that they didn't respect themselves for loving you they don't care about twin flame journey anymore they free themselves already that's why you have this in reverse they're not even talking about you to their friends or they don't even see you as their friend because they're angry they still have hurt within okay with this codependency card i'm not reading it based on what it tells, but I'm sensing like they're attached to their anger with you, especially if you use them for money purpose. Healing family issues, children. So I'm sensing here that even though you guys have family together or children, I feel like they already release you. They don't care. That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like someone here is passion. Could be someone really cheat, cheated on your connection, and they think that you are someone who is a cheater. I feel like they're not attracted to you anymore. They don't acknowledge your connection. I feel like they're more passionate with a new lover. That's what I'm sensing here. And they're optimistic of finding a new partner that they want to get involved with. And that new partner that will arrive is what they say this could be the one. I feel strongly that they're moving away from you. But luck is on their side when it comes to love life. So I feel like they will be destined on to someone that is more mature than someone who broke their heart. Anyway, so let's see about your overall theme so you got the tribe in both ways so i feel like they're releasing themselves from you though they know that you know there's a deep soul connection they are releasing you in their life higher power i feel like they're not listening anymore to their to the signs about twin flames they're tired they didn't see you as their home they didn't care anymore about the connection that's what i see with their vibe like i told you they're angry at you so this is the strength archangel ariel strength and grace through kindness self-confidence forgiveness so i feel like your person needs to forgive you but i feel like with the eight here they can't release you that's what I'm sensing. No matter whomever they paired with, they will um, remember you. Because your, your soul with this person is attached to each other. So anyway, this is the song for you. Naisip mo ba by David De Muzio? I can hardly speak, sorry. <laughs> so it says... Yours is the face that I can't leave behind. Memories of us here have never left my mind. Do you think of me sometimes? Naisip mo pa ba ako? Translation, are you still thinking about me? Naaalala mo pa ba mga panahon ng tayo pang dalawa? And the translation is, do you still remember those days when we're still together? <clears throat> so I think that your person still, you know, wonder if you remember them. And I feel like the face. I think that you guys look like each other. 
with a mirror here. Whenever they look at themselves, I feel like they remember your face because you look like each other. I don't know, you guys are really twins. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so here are their messages for you. Should I clarify? They said no need. But my love is real. Tell me you'll wait. I want to make you see just what I was. They could be highly authentic. I belong with you. I miss you body and soul. Hmm. I think that your person still loves you, still miss you. But you have to wait for them. Why? Because in your reading number two, they're still mad at you. Okay? Make them heal. It will take some time for a person to heal, especially if it's a deep connection. <clears throat> and they're aware about your soul connection, guys, number two. Okay, they're aware about it. They can't deny it, no matter what. Even if they're dating someone else that's more mature than you, they're still attached. They're still attached to you. Why not meet them? <laughs> because it says, I miss you, body and soul. <laughs> oh dear. The angels say not the perfect time. Alright, not the perfect time. So anyway, here is your advice. You got success. I wonder why success. So here are the advice, energy healing work. So I think that you need to pray for your person to heal. Because they're still mad at you. So, in order for them to heal, pray for them. The angels say. Next is the person you're asking about is trustworthy. So, yeah, it says here. <clears throat> Could be... Your person is the one who is the trustworthy here. And the other is deceitful. So what they want you to do, if you have trust issues, they want you to trust this person. Okay? Because they are trustworthy. Could be you deceive them because you thought they're not trustworthy. Or you thought they're lying. And that's why they want to say to you, I want to make you see just what I was. Probably, <coughs> sorry, your person is the one who communicates their feelings to you, but you're not receptive to it. Probably that's what happened in your connection. That's why there's the seed that happened in your connection. This is very sad. You accidentally broke their heart. Because you thought they're not trustworthy. So, anyway... <clears throat> is there anything else? They told me why success is here. Because they will be successful and happy with someone new. They say, You have to let them go now. <laughs> That's what I'm sensing. Let them be. <clears throat> Sorry. So anyway, what else, angels? They say relax. Even if they will be in a relationship, um, they will still see you whenever they see their face. <laughs> That's what they want to say. And if ever, you know, um, you will guys meet, it will be the perfect time because they say, um, that moment, this person won't be that mad at you. They just need some time to heal. That's also what they want to say. Is there anything else? St. Carbill say that it may take some time to heal. Especially if you hurt this person's heart drastically. Please do understand that it's not very easy to heal. The angels say. Um, just leave them be. It's not the perfect time for you guys to meet, to meet each other. Even though this person misses you. And if ever you are cut off by this person, if ever they ghost to you, if ever they block you in social media, they're just called on to do that. 
because right now they're mad. They say, it's better that way than to, you know, tell you bad things. They told me. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, thank you for watching those who chose number two. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys, for those who chose number 3, which is the Queen of Ariel, Mature, Practical, Generous, Happy, here is your reading. So we'll see what's going on with your love life, number 3. So I feel like you're an independent, mature person, that's also what I'm sensing here. This is the overall um, theme of this reading. You got the Fates, Observer. Wow. This is great number three. You have been single for a very long time. And I feel like you're a nurturer as well. You're abundant and a joyful person. Let's see about the energy of your person. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know. How does a person of number 3 feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together? I strongly feel like um, you're healing from somebody of your past. That's why I feel like you're not interested about your ex. I feel like someone is sexually fantasizing about you. Could be your ex or karmic vibe, but we'll see. One more for? Alright, they want to give more. I feel like you're highly emotional as of this time, number three. One more? Okay. Somebody cheated on you in the past and now is returning to your life. Hmm. That will check. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's coming on with the love life of number 3 commencing March 2 up to March 8, 2020. One more they tell. You are a royal partner that they want to marry. That's what I'm sensing. Mm. I feel like your ex is attached to you. Like, no matter what you do, even if you walk away, they still like you. But they chose someone else over you. Which is very sad. This is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. What is the outcome? You're the alchemist, the angels say. You're a good manifester. I feel like you might manifest somebody in your life, but not your ex. You will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Aim for the heights, the angels say. And I smiled when I say that.
sorry <clears throat> i strongly feel like your ex is coming back number three and you have to prepare for it For some of you, this could be the person that you married before and they want to be remarried to you once again. Anyway, one more for. Okay, they want to give more. Sorry guys, I was disrupted. I follow my guides. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So you cut up the, in the air. What I'm sensing is that you really want someone to marry in the future and I feel like within this week it might happen. I feel like it's someone from your past. Someone you already know, the angels say. He'll offer you a cup of love. After you release someone in the past. I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> I feel like you just got away from a broken connection, right? With the Ten of Swords being in reverse, it already happened. That's what I'm sensing here. You already let go of someone. And I feel like you're upset about it because you're married to that person or there's a strong bond between you guys. Could be a deep soul connection, um, religious factors. And I feel like you're looking at the past um, like it could grow into a connection but it didn't work out that way. It became the Ten of Cups reverse. There's drama there and finances are involved. But I feel like after these turmoil waters, someone new is coming your way. So for some, this could be someone new. I feel like at least of you, that's, that person will be an ex. But not this one who just hurt you recently. I'm sensing like it's more on kind of vibe of old kind of old person of your past could be beyond your teen years that is only for how much percentage three percent of you it's your ex okay so anyway we'll see what else so you got a king of roses um what i have here is that you don't know what you want Okay, you're someone who's single, but you're not focused on anyone. This is your energy. And I feel like you're a bit close off because you're single now and you're doing very well with your life, with your money, with your abundance. You're, you're quite successful and happy even if you're single. And you just got away from a connection that didn't work out. That's why you're not that interested in love life. You just let things flow and let's see what will happen. You're not in dating scene. See, you're single. Okay, and you're not, you're not aware that you have secret admirers could be. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like someone on your past is returning. Someone whom is matching your vibration right now. I feel like the past person could be a friend that you already know or could be your ex. I feel like that person, whomever will come your way, is someone who's busy at work and also single like you. So with the magician being in reverse here, I'm sensing like both of you has the same energy that was not looking for someone else new, but they have a lot of secret admirers that surrounds them. Look at that. Okay, and I feel here that you're someone who's afraid to fall in love again because you just got away from a broken connection. Could be someone cheated on the connection. And or it's just sexual connection that didn't work out. Just like what resonates, guys. 
And I feel like this time around, because these things happened to you in the past, you're using your intuition on choosing the lover. That's what I'm sensing with your energy. I feel like the heaven is sending you signs on whom you, cho you should choose. You need to choose wisely according to the angels. Make sure that you didn't choose someone that is not like you are. Because I feel like the right person for you is someone who mirrors you or someone whom is in alignment with you. Okay? That's what I'm sensing because you have other option here. That's not healthy for you. There's no give and take. And there's injustice going on. And the skills is not balanced. It's in reverse. Next card is Seven of Scrolls. I strongly feel like... I feel like one of your suitors has really a crush on you. They really have deep feelings for you. And they're gonna offer something for you. That's what I'm sensing. Some of them are sexually fantasizing about you even. So with this card, I'm sensing here. Yeah, some of you, for some, okay, this could be your ex from your past. Not the one who just broke your heart, but someone, a thing of the past. One of your exes could be. Well, some of it could be just a friend. If it's one of your exes, I think that they want to make amends after all these years that happened. I feel like they became someone whom is changed already. And if ever this is a new person or one of your secret admirers, I feel like you felt drawn to that person because the angels are showing you the signs that this is the one. That's what I'm sensing. And as well as you're feeling passionate about this person as well, I feel like you're in love. It's a mutual feeling. This could be your crush as well. Whomever is your crush has, a f has feelings for you as well. That's what I'm sensing here. So with the King of Scrolls being in reverse, I feel here that after you release your soul contract with someone who just broke your heart, you will have this for of once with a new person or your, your past person. Okay, just take what resonates. I'm sensing if you're gonna date your past person, what they're trying to tell you is that that person already changed. There will be someone who's loving, nurturing, and caring because they learned their lesson. Um, when they did something wrong to you, they ended up a cycle of the negativity. They learn, they learn it the hard way, the angels say. That's why they go towards you and realize that you're the one. So with a sense of time, I'm sensing here that your person is waiting for the perfect timing to take an action. And I feel like right now with the chariot being in reverse, if it's not the perfect time, they will not take an action. But I feel like with the moon being here, I am strongly sense that that will come towards you unexpectedly. Okay? You will not expect. You will expect that this person will come when they will speak the truth to you that they have feelings for you. Now, this is the outcome, lightning bolt. So, I feel like you're dating someone before and you're aware about the truth that this is not good for you. That's what I'm sensing. And I also sense that if it's a thing of the past, okay, whomever that is, I feel like it's it's the past, past. Alright, um, that person changed because of what happened in your connection and they're still stuck on you because they're aware that you're someone who's loving and caring and they don't want you to go. That's why they're coming back to you because they see that you're a loving person. If it's someone new, I feel here that the first time that they met you, they think that you're the one already. You strike them in their heart and they can, you know, escape their emotions with regards to you. 
That's why they want to offer something and they want... I feel like they're kind of possessive vibe. They don't want you with someone else. That's why they gonna court you within this week. Or some of you could be... You, you will be in a partnership. I feel within March. That's what I'm sensing here. March or June, the angels say. Anyway, we'll see about the charms. I will just stop if the angels ask me to do And I'm not looking at the charms. I'm just sensing by my hands. I feel like your secret admirer is... I strongly feel here. Could be your twin if you're dealing with your twin flame. I'll just stop if they ask me. One more. Okay, they ask me to pull more. So, wow, Larry Mar. Larry Mar is my symbolism for new love. I'll share to you my story with this stone. When I was looking for love one time, um, the stone um, seller asked me to buy this so that I may find a new lover. So what happened is that I wore this stone, hoping to find a new lover. I was young but back then. I forgot um what date. Um, but when I wore this stone, um, I met a soulmate. But that that's not basically the one for me. It's a karmic person. But then this symbolized to me a new love, because it calls on. A new lover or new new person in your life so i feel like you know most of you will have a new lover okay new lover within this week could be around march or june according to the angels so you have this this is my ghost my ghost charm and i feel like you're someone i know sense that it could symbolize that you ghosted someone but i seem I simply sense that you know you're not into love life. You're you have that poker face. <laughs> That's what I'm sensing. You're single, but you're happy with this, you know, comics, comic symbolism. I feel like whom will be in love with you will be drawn to your face because this is my mirror. Or it could be your twin, because it's also symbolism of twin as mirrors, right? And whomever that new lover is, will be someone who is logical, and also someone who's, who is wise, could be older than you are. Or they are mature, like if they are not older than you, and they are someone who's loyal, will be loyal to you. They will not cheat, the angels say. Yeah, they could be a nerd. Or they could wear glasses. And anyway, with this star, I feel like you're destined to meet this person. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like they will be your life partner as well. So the, the elephant tells me about the by the book um, in the wisdom of the oracle. And I'm sensing here that that person could be your soul tribe. Or it has to happen that you should be in a partnership with your your new person this person could fly towards you or there will be distance involved in your connection this could be a long distance connection you could meet online that's what i'm sensing and then with this um charm i'm sensing like this could be bigger than you are if they are a male i feel like they're cute and cuddly <laughs> that's what i'm sensing as well Wow, love. So I feel like this person is really in love with you. They will be tied down to you. They, they feel like, whoa. Look at this. You got the undies together. 
Okay. For some of you, there will be something that's gonna happen between you guys. Okay? That's what I'm sensing if you will meet this person. So, I feel like there will be a deep attraction going on. I feel like you will not see this happening. Like they will come towards you unexpectedly. So, with this ball, I'm sensing like there could be someone who's who loves to play sports, just what I'm sensing here. I feel like you're afraid um, if ever an ex will come your way, I think that it will be very hard for you to trust them because they could be player types before. If ever an ex approach you, probably for some you might deny, deny them because you don't like player types anymore. So this is emotion. So whomever you're gonna date next is someone that is emotional emotionally mature the angels say they are more mature than you are the angels told me and that person will make you feel happy they will not reject you they will love you they love to send you messages that's what i'm sensing they're not gonna be shy on showing their emotions with regards to you and i feel with this snail I feel like this is you. You will be forced on by the divine to be in a partnership. <laughs> though you're not yet ready. Okay. A B. Okay. For some girls that's watching, you will have a boyfriend within this week. That could be. Or if you're a guy watching it, watching this video, you could have a new girlfriend. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. I will just put it aside because I don't really plan to put letters on my videos. <laughs> anyway, so next is the owl with. I feel it. Like whomever will come your way that is mature. They, they are mature because of what they have been through. They have been through a lot with their life. Which makes them, you know, mature. So you have two owls here. Probably you guys are mirror of each other with regards to the connection or to what you've been gone through. Could be both of you are single and mature person or people and you attract this new lover because you're on the same vibration as they are. Look how tall that is. <laughs> the other person is. Could be there, there's a huge age difference, the angels say in your connection but that will be a happy connection since you're dealing with a mature person and not an immature one the angels say so make sure that you choose the mature person the right person for you because i feel like you have other suitors but some suitors are not that mature focus on the attitude guys and not on the face all right so anyway um here is the energy for giving and learning, finances and career. So I feel like whomever you dated in the past has financial issues and they are less mature than you are. They could be deceitful. There could be family issues. That's why they act like a deceitful person. And I feel like you will not give a chance to the person who just broke your heart because I feel like you, someone broke your heart okay um you don't want to give them a chance and with the playfulness and engagement i feel like you're not really looking for love life but suddenly you will be in a relationship i feel like this will be fast because the moment that the person i feel like crush for some or for some of you um once that a person find you they know that you're the one that's what I'm sensing with this engagement card. This is your energy. Calling in your soulmate reverse because you're not really that interested. Like even if you have suitors, you're, you have that poker face. Reminds me of that ghost charm. Look at your poker face, okay? Love yourself first. I feel like you're independent for a very long time, okay? And 
you're not making any move. I feel like that person that will come your way will be the one who will make the move for you. And I feel like they haven't is not sending you signs because they want it to be a surprise. Retreat reverse, children. So if ever you will have, I feel like for some of you, with the retreat and children, I feel like if ever your ex has a child with you, okay, um, they will come first because of your child. That's what I'm sensing. You're gonna hang out with your child together with your ex. But it doesn't mean that you're, that's the one that you're gonna choose. You're just gonna bond with your ex and that's it. There's no sexual attraction with your ex. That's what I'm sensing here. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I feel like... The angels told me that don't base it on looks, okay? Base it on the attitude because the new person that's coming your way is somebody whom, whom you won't expect that you will like, the angels say. That's why you're not passionate about that person could be. I feel like, yeah, whomever will fall in love with you, they will fall in love for you first. That's what I'm sensing. If ever you know this person already, they will they will come forth with a separation. If this is a long distance connection, they will travel to your country or to your um place, okay? Let your friends help you reverse. So if, if this is your friend, I feel like that will be accelerated. You will become lovers. That's what I'm sensing here. So let go of your control issues. Um, what I basically say is that don't control too much because I feel like you will be very, um, what do you call this, detached or you're someone who's gonna put your guard up because you just encounter a heartache before, right? So that's why they ask you, please release your control. Because someone new will come your way and getting to know each other in reverse. I feel like upon meeting the new person, um, you might escape the getting to know each other. Because the moment that your person see you, they know that you're the one for them. Wow, number three. Who is that person? So, this is the theme. As I told you, upon meeting that person, you might do it right away. The one in bed. And I feel like, you know, the moment that you see each other, you know that that is the one for you. And I feel like for some of you, you're unaware. You're unaware that this person likes you, especially if this is your crush. I feel like if this is really your crush, they have a crush on you too. Because I see it on some of the reading here. You have mutual attraction. It could happen either March or June. They keep on repeating. So you got the Queen of Ariel. Mature, practical, generous, and happy. So I feel like that's why you're gonna meet a mature person. Because they vibe like you are. Because I sense that this is also your vibration. And so as your person. Based on the charms nurture yourself and those you love the ability to make anything more beautiful practical wise advice i'm sorry practical and wise advice sorry <laughs> okay so i'm sensing here that you know um, that person will bring you joy and abundance will nurture you because i see here nurture yourself so they know how to nurture themselves that's why they know how to nurture you and i feel like you mirror each other with the mirror here okay you mirror each other in terms of attitude that's why you have the charm mirror okay in your reading so we'll see what do they want to tell you this is about a new person 
Wow, forget your sorrow because love gonna conquer it all. No need to, you know, clarify the angels, say, Our love will lead me to your arms. And the future of me is you. Wow, about your new person. Congratulations, number three. So here are the advice for you. You got peaceful resolution. So if ever you're gonna deal with your ex within this week, especially if you have kids, you're just gonna bond with your kids, there will be peaceful resolution, okay? You guys will be at peace. Next is don't stop. So it's don't stop being like the queen of Ariel. Okay, someone who's mature, practical, generous, and happy. Don't stop. Don't dim your light. So you may attract this person that you will date next, the angels say. Be gentle with yourself. Prayer, Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this this compassion, I release my feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. So, I feel like you need to be at peace, especially with your ex, because for some of you, you might meet your ex within this week. And in order for you to have that peaceful resolution, you have to be at peace. Be gentle like a sheep. Next is, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. I'm sorry about the noise. Prayer, please help me clear, clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. So what the angels are trying to tell you is that you will have hunches when you met the right person. The angels say they are mature like you are. They mirror your attitude. So make sure that even though the getting to know each other is in reverse, you have to take some time to know your person so you may know they are the one. They mirror your attitude and even your some of you career, some of you could be hobbies. That's how you will know um, the right person for you. So is there anything else? They say they are abundant like you are. And the one whom is less mature will be off your life, the angels say. They will be single and happy, but they will never have you back, the angels say. So you don't have to worry about the one who really broke your heart is there anything else they said you're divinely guided um to be with the person that you deserve they told me so is there anything else they said relax you will find that person okay and they say they want it as a surprise so you know just don't stop doing your own thing as you wait is there anything else they said that's it so thank you for watching those who chose number three and sending you all peace love and light bye bye guys for those who chose number four which is the knight of michael strong committed intellectual diligent here is your reading so we'll see What's coming on with your love life number four? So you got not for you. In either way, to the sea, deep knowing, and also go the distance. So we'll see about your person number four. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know how does a person of number four feel about them. And how do they see about their situation and connection together? Three more shuffles, they say.
I don't know why I sense twin flame in your reading number four. But we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's gonna happen in the love life of number four, commencing March 2 up to March 8, 2020. So the angels told me that within the next couple of hours, you will be engaged with someone new. That's what they want to say, number four. This is overall energy that's affecting the reading. What is the outcome? We will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. I feel like someone is jealous of you, of your success, of your abundance. And you don't like that person. You could be heavy um, earth sign. I'm sensing. So earth is about money, finances, career. So earth sign is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So if you are not um, in those signs, it means that that's strong in your chart. That's why you're... I forgot Virgo. Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus. <clears throat> so anyway, somebody's jealous of you. That's what I'm sensing strongly. And that I feel like that is a hater that you need to release in your life. I feel like that person keeps on fighting for your attention. That they want you <clears throat> not to be successful and happy. And I feel like you will retreat from this person. You will fight this person within this week. That's what's gonna happen. Could be your brother or sister. Somebody from your family. I strongly sense. Now with the muse being in reverse. <clears throat> I feel like um, that person is really against your success. That's what I'm sensing with the muse reverse. Because as I see here, they want your downfall. But I feel like, you know, they're aching because you're, you're fighting. You're fighting for your success. And I feel like you don't mind. You don't mind them. Or whenever they fight you, you will fight back. Because this person keeps on hurting you with, with their words. Stabbing you in the back creating gossips, and I feel like you're not comfortable with whomever this is. So with the card then being in reverse, I'm sensing like, you, you're, you want someone new. You want someone to be in a relationship. That's what I'm sensing. You want to date someone. You will be out since the hermit is in reverse. And I feel like, yeah, you will have a connection number four. And that person will help you release your burden. Because I feel like you will be in dating scene because you're sad with your life. That's what I'm sensing here. And you want them to release the pain by dating. So I feel with the six of keys being in reverse. I feel like... You will realize now what you want in life. That's also what I'm getting. 
you will release those people that are toxic for you because before you're still holding on to them you're mad but you're still holding on but i feel like within this week you will release those karmics that you have that carries that creates that burden in you commitment rivers so i'm sensing here that if you're gonna date someone new that could be a potential partnership that's what i'm sensing because before i feel like you will just say yes because you're burdened with problems and you're not sure if that will be a committed connection but i'm sensing that hmm that can change with the death being in the reverse you will see yourself being in partnership with someone new but it's not something passionate yet the angels say it's not about passion it's not some something that has to do with sexual attractions what i'm sensing it's not the case it's a serious connection it's what i'm sensing here so we'll see about the outcome two worlds i feel really that you really want to be happy could be family members are the one whom is causing pain anxiety in you so with the seven of pentacles being in reverse could be whomever is downgrading you is using you for money purpose and you want to be happy next card is the lookout reverse meaning you're gonna take that leap of faith because you had enough with what's going on with your life and I strongly feel like you will date, okay? You will date once again in order for you to release the burdens of the family members or people that are burdening you. Whom you will date will love you too. Okay, both of you are focused on each other and you will be a good partner together. And I feel like since you're trying to get away from your car mix so i feel like um family members strongly feel if not family members could be friends or colleagues you might make this connection a secret so that these people may not bug your connection as i feel like you're gonna be protected with your person and you're gonna i feel like it's gonna be a stable connection with a pentacle and with a page of ones yeah a new beginning you're gonna be more passionate about the connection, but I sense that the passion thing is not about sexual, it's more on about them uplifting your vibration to be passionate about life. They're gonna help you heal. So anyway, we'll see your charms. I'm gonna just stop if the angels ask me to do. Looks like they wanna put all. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, here are your charms. Wow, you got Andy's together. So I think you will do something with that person and the new person that you're gonna date. This is your soul tribe, the one that you will meet. Okay, as a new partner, you will have feelings for that person. And I feel like that person could be about the vanity or they could be beautiful or handsome. That's also what I see. And I strongly feel here that you're gonna date someone because you want justice, you wanna be happy. And I feel like some of you are manifesting this because you had enough in your life. And... You want at least a partner that will help you uplift your vibration. And you're gonna be lucky when it comes to love life within this week. You're gonna meet someone new. 
and I feel like it's gonna be a fun a fun loving person and also has a great sense of humor with this comic book I feel like you will not see it coming it will just come un unexpectedly so you got happy you will be happy with this new person that you will have and that person could be cute <laughs> that person is cute and loves to take pictures or loves to take selfies could be there's distance involved in the connection but you don't mind because I strongly feel like you're divinely guided towards this person. I feel like your person could be mature, could be older than you are, or they could be um, mature because of what, what they have been through in life. They love you. For some of you, this could be the one the angels say. They are loyal people, the angels say. They are abundant. They know how to love themselves because this is the rose quartz and it symbolizes self-love. So that's why they know how to treat you well. So with a star, I feel like you're destined to be with this person. Or to meet this person and they could be a nerd or there's someone who's mature. They are your soul tribe and I feel like family. You will feel at home with them. So with this nail here, I feel like there's someone who wants to take it slow. But I feel like you will pull them so that, you know, it will happen quick. So, here are the energy of your person, separation, and soulmate. So, you're gonna have a new partner. That's what I'm sensing with the separation. For some of you, this could be already your friend that you know and you want to accelerate it to the next level. And your person also see you as the one soulmate. And separation, I feel like you will be together. You need to make up your mind, that's what I'm sensing. But I feel like you know each other already. Because I feel here this could be one of your friends. That you're thinking about. And this friend also thinks that you could be the one, but they're indecisive. They could have a lot of admirers. Or the healing family issues reverse. I strongly feel here that they have been through a lot with their family. I feel like it has been resolved. They are, I feel like they're mysterious why they are mature with their age. That's also what I'm sensing. So you could keep an open mind. I'm sensing here that your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So even them, they're indecisive because you're not the type that they want to date that could be that's why at first they're indecisive and retreat in reverse meaning they don't want to run away from you from your connection because they're aware that they see you as a potential partner they're just moving slowly with a snail but i think that you will be the one who will push things forward because you're problematic with your family Okay, that's why you want the connection right away so they will be forced on by you. So you can't go the distance. So I feel like um, you will go towards your person. You will make the move. Deep knowing to the sea and not for you. So I feel here that you will make up your mind right away is what I'm sensing here. Because you're not taking any action with regards to this new person. I feel like you will just acknowledge it once that you need it, once that you feel depressed. I feel like whomever you will date will help you to recover from people that are not meant for you. Because you feel like um, your friend belongs to you or a soul tribe member of yours. That's what I'm sensing as well. 
With the Knight of Michael strong committed intellectual diligent time to move quickly choose logic over emotion sudden changes so I'm sensing here that suddenly you will be involved in a connection without you thinking about it first that's what I'm sensing you're gonna be quick because of what's happening in your in your life like you want a connection right away so you will have it because you will take an action I feel like it's a friend that you will date next. That they know you already. So anyway, here are their messages for you. Should I clarify? They said no need, so I will just read. So you got still a mystery. Don't give up your faith. You're not for me. They are indecisive. Look at that. You are the road that leads me home. I know your story. So I feel like you will be the one who will take an action. But then I feel like they love to watch your social media because you have I know your story. And it's still a mystery about the connection. But then they want to give it a try to be honest. We don't give up your faith. It won't be a 50-50 chance because I feel like your person is interested in you as well. Okay, they they like you too. You're the road that leads me home. They just want you to be the one who will, you know, um, make the first move. They could be the runner in your connection. So anyway, here are their advice for you. Look for a sign. Ask for help from others. And then perfect timing. So I think that it's just a perfect timing that you guys will be together. Because you guys are friends. That's what I'm sensing. And I think that you you will be in a relationship right away. Because you think that this person will help you mend your heart. Because you're mad of what happened in your life. So f look for a sign. If you're doubting this person... You know, what they want to say is that they have been sending signs towards you about your person. And they want to say it will be a perfect time that you will be in a partnership and you will, are divinely guided to the one, to this person that you have here. I feel like you're manifesting your friend because you're in love with them. It's what I'm sensing here. You have mutual feelings for each other. It's just your person is not sure if, you know, you like them too, that could be. Because it tells here, you are the road that leads me home. So they will be guided towards you if only you show the signs that you're interested too. So here are here are the advice for you. So you got honor and trust your feelings. So you really have feelings for your friend. Prayer. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. So, what I want to say is that trust your feelings because I feel like this is really the one for you, the one that your heart has chosen. So, if you're doubtful, then pay attention to the signs that they have sent to you, number four. So the next is shield yourself. So I feel like you're trying to shield yourself because you're afraid that you might get rejected. And I feel here that you won't be rejected, the angels say, because even your person likes you too. And it's a perfect time for you guys to be together or to be lovers. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, thank you for watching those who chose number four. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.